Hey everybody, and a welcome to the next map that I'm going to play, which is Ethor Plateau. This is another map that is included in the massive uh, Star Wars Clone Wars uh, extended mod. And the initial impression that you get when looking at this map is how beautiful and crisp it looks. It looks super vibrant, super clear, colorful, varied, and a very... Um, I don't know, happy feeling I get when I look at it. In some ways, it almost resembles something that we know from uh, Halo with its color scheme. You know, fighting in these valleys, but also just a lot of green uh, besides all of the rocks and stones. Very, very cool. You see that the uh, map has a circular pattern in it, but these raised platforms, these rock formations where infantry will do battle, where uh, at the bottom circle layout is where vehicles will uh, also fight. We already saw that we have TX-130s. I assume the droids have AATs. Again, of course, with the Clone Wars Extended, we get some excellent skins to play around with. For some weird reason, I have the feeling that I have played this map before. But looking at the uh, channels that I did reviews for, I could not find a map called Ethor. So I don't know if this was also released separately under maybe a different name. That does sometimes actually happen with um, with the maps from the Clone Wars Extended. It's a very good size for uh, the battle that's going on. When you look at the map itself, you actually think that the map is quite big. And it is definitely bigger than some of the maps we know. But you never are too long out of the uh, out of the action. Oh, very clever use of some heavy turrets as well. Very interesting. Oh dear. One thing that actually is super, super cool is again that these platforms, these higher up uh, rock formations, very easily accessible by the AI. They do a good job of defending and attacking. Sometimes you have these multi layered maps, and the AI is actually not able to properly cope with that. They either get stuck or they don't enter a certain area. Uh, let's actually start here. I want to take a look at the base. Simple base, but nice design. Yeah, there's the AATs, like I like I thought there would be. Again, it's a great map because it offers you know a uh, different style of play uh, of, of gameplay for those who want it. Those who want more infantry based, up close and personal gameplay they'll just stick to the upper layers and the ones who want combined assaults combined arms gameplay they will stick to the uh, the grass fields that's also of course why it's called plateau is because the bulk of the infantry battles will happen on the plateau above the regular battlefield and as you can see here multiple access points to the plateau Wide enough to where none of the AI will get stuck. Really atmospheric. Great textures too. Despite, you know, the overtone being grey, it still feels uh, very believable, very atmospheric. Great map. Great small map. One of the better ones, I would say, for Clone Wars Extended. Because even though I do love Clone Wars Extended, and I would recommend it. It is sometimes hit or miss with the quality of the maps. I talked about this with the Clone Wars Revised. How the Clone Wars Revised also has some maps that are standalone sometimes. <clears throat> but it seems to me like the Clone Wars Revised mod has uh, some stricter rules in getting through the selection uh, to be featured in the mod. And I don't think that that is a bad or necessarily a good thing. 
you know. I think mod creators or map makers that have less experience, that have a really clear vision, should also get a chance to have their work shown. You know, and having this elite vision of just having, you know, something with so many assets or so much detail is also not necessary. It does, of course, often more results in uh, being blown away. But I have reviewed some ma maps that have, are maybe not as detailed, but have a super cool premise or a super good idea, and it really works well because of it. Lost control of a command post. The interesting thing too that I now notice is there are other plateau or platforms or plateaus you can go to, but there's no real reason why. Like, the enemy has taken a command post. it's Remote cool that you can go here. But what is the reason? Why should I want to? Okay, well, that's, that's okay. I, that's too far. But here, there are even some <clears throat> extra assets on here. So you could have actually used this. Obviously, this is good for sniping. Um, but that's about it. So maybe you can add, add some cover, add some um, turrets. Just have a few more assets to offer some, uh, some more gameplay. But that's only like minor. It's like nitpicking. Again, the map is really, really good. It's just that it's interesting to me how uh, you can actually go there and there isn't really anything there. Also, I am very surprised how long I am uh, playing with Windu here. You can actually... There are some graphical issues here with the grass glitching through my lightsaber, which is very weird. See, this is what I'm talking about. So, so these, these things could have been added at that plateau as well, because this is super cool. This is like a fortress that they own. It's also very much near a spawn point. Do they actually have a spawn point that's inside? It should be this one, right? Yeah, exactly. See, this is cool. What a great map. Why is there an LAT here? Hmm. Okay. Let's actually try and capture this. And I've been doing the Clone Wars Extended mod for uh, quite a while now, and I'm still surprised how much content, how many videos I'm getting out of it. There, Mace Windu went. Well, it gives us a chance to take a look at some of the cooler units here. Well, usually I actually don't like the uh, AT troopers, but the color scheme of these looks very, very cool. They're losing reinforcements. Keep it up. Grenade, take I actually wonder, is there any viewer here who actually really likes to play as the AT unit? I, I can understand that you like playing as them if it's like a multiplayer match because you're going after all the players that are in the vehicles to get some good kills. But for some reason, it doesn't appeal to me very much when playing against AI. I don't get get as much satisfaction of blowing up uh, AI-controlled vehicles as I do with uh, player-controlled vehicles. Whereas, killing an infantry AI uh, gives me also satisfaction as much as killing a uh, player, player infantry. Oh, no. I was about to say, usually the, uh, the alt weapon of the rocket trooper sucks. But I guess the good thing with mods, and this is probably a more standard thing, again, I almost never actually play as the rocket trooper, is that their uh, alt weapon is as good as the uh, main weapon of the other units.
Mm, we're still looking for three units. God knows where they are. Window. Mace window. This is window. Windows. Mace windows 98. He can do more. You can do faster. Oh, we have an AAT that is not being controlled. Where are the final two? Oh. This one is gutsy. Attacking window head on. That's one more. Mm. One thing that I do now notice, which is interesting, is that it doesn't actually necessarily seem like the AI is uh, doing a very good job of capturing the command posts. Command post is under Republic control. They're losing reinforcements. Like, they just captured four, but all of the other command posts are free, and none of them are taken. They're now going for three, it would seem. Where's this final one, huh? We're going to capture this. Oh. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, it is now evil. What the hell? Well, there we go. Anyway, guys, if you want to download this, you can uh, find the download link to the extended mod in the description down below. Don't forget to let me know any recommendations or requests of maps or mods you want to see in the channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.